Greetings and happy everything. Welcome to 2011. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? Well, here's one to keep in mind. Give them a reason to love you. Okay, now let me explain. My sister Trish was out for Christmas along with another sister, Lynn. We had a whole bunch of my enormous family gathered to uh, celebrate the holidays for us with us and it was so much fun. And I was visiting with my sister Trish who's a kindergarten teacher. She's very successful in her career. She's, she taught for 29 years in the public school system. Now she's a professor at the University of Utah, a specialist in early childhood education. And she's written a couple of books and teaches workshops on how to be successful as a kindergarten teacher. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I asked her, what if you could you know, summarize what makes a teacher successful? How would you, how would you describe that? And she said, Give them a reason to fall in love with you. Because if your students love you, they will go the extra mile. They will forgive you when you ask them to do something unreasonable. You're gonna make some mistakes out there and if, you're, if your students love you, you're gonna be so much more effective and they're going to be so much more successful as they develop on your watch. Wow, is that cool? Now that absolutely applies to what we do in our businesses. In his fantastic book, The Leadership Engine, Noel Titchy says, leaders are teachers. And so you are. Okay, so let's see how we can apply that kindergarten lesson. How do you get your team to fall in love with you? Well, you gotta love them. And to do that, you've gotta spend time with people individually, one to one. So let me give you some tips. Number one, the meet and greet. The meet and greet is, is it too much for you to meet and shake the hand of every person who comes into work with you every day? Um, Al Levy, his dad, Irving Levy, did this better than anybody I know. Well into his 80s, he made it a point to meet and greet every person who came to work on his watch. Look them in the eye, shake their hand, ask them how their day was, and thank them for voting with their feet and showing up for work another day. Now that goes a long way in the emotional bank account. This is how you get someone to fall in love with you. You pay attention to them. You love them first. Zig Ziglar says, until they know how much you care, they don't care how much you know, or something like that. <laughs> so my apologies, my apologies to Zig for paraphrasing. In any event, spend some time with your team. They are absolutely lovable and it will come back to you in success for them and for you. So I wish you love, love, love this uh, 2011. May it be your best year yet. So enjoy love, peace, money, and freedom in the upcoming year.